Hello everybody. So today I am going to be talking about resistors in series and parallel. This is a pretty important concept to understand when we are trying to put two or more resistors together and um, in this video, I'm going to show you the two mathematical equations, mathematical equations, and how to put them together. And there's two fundamental ones. Now, this is just an introduction, and I'm giving you just a simple circuit right here. And uh, when we're trying to solve for Ohm's law, like what I did in the previous video, what we need to do is to take all the resistors together and then uh, either use that total resistance to either find the voltage or the current. In this case, the voltage is given. And what we need to do is we need to take all the resistors together and then divide the voltage uh, by the resistance to get uh, the current if it is unknown. So let's assume that in this example, we're trying to find current, but uh, we need to find the total resistances. In this case, it's pretty simple. Our total is just equal to R1 because we only have one resistor right here. Thus, the current is equal to uh, the voltage, which, which is five volts divide it by 5 ohms and we get 1 ampere so this is uh, our current now let's uh, make it a little bit more complicated and see what happens if we have two or more resistors what are we gonna do well for sure it's gonna end up in either series or parallel. So this is what is going to look like if there are two or more resistors and we're trying to put them together. So the first figure right here is we have three resistors in series. In series. And to tell if they are in series or not, what we need to do is we need to identify that each resistors are connected at one end of another. And these dots represent that they are connected from one end of another. And to put them together, it's simply our total equals to the sum of these three resistors, which is R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is resistors in series. Now, in the second figure, we have these resistors in parallel. And to identify if they are in parallel or not, what we do is to identify that all three resistors are connected two ends from one another, or across from one another. And now we're gonna have two dots to indicate that they are connected, all connected, at both ends and to put them to and to put them together it's a little bit more complicated than uh, putting them in series to put them in parallel we have to multiply all these three resistors together and divide it by the sum of all three which is R1 times R2 times R3 and then you divide that by the sum of all three of them, which is R1 plus R2 plus R3. And there you have it. If you want to put the resistors together in series, you take the sum of them. If you want to put them together in parallel, you multiply them all together and then divide it by the sum of all three. And there you have your R total. Now, let's give a practical example. So what we have right here 
is a more complex circuit than I've uh, showed you guys earlier in the beginning of the video. And uh, the objective is the same. We need to find what the current is given that all these resistors are equal to 2 ohms. Now, we don't know what our total is because, well, we need to find it to uh, use it and uh, have the voltage divided by the total resistance to find our current. So to do that, we have to start simple and start putting them all together one by one. So let's start off with R4 and R5. Well, for one, we know that both of them are connected at both ends from one another. That basically means is that we have to put them together that is that these resistors are in parallel. Therefore, we have to multiply them together and divide it by the sum of it. And the, res the equivalent resistance that would equal to the parallel of this and this together can equal to R6. So what we do is we do we take the multiplication of both of them, divide it by the sum of it, and we get R6. And that translates to this next figure right here. Now we can take R3 and R6 together and put them together as we know that they are connected at one end from one another. So we take the sum of it, R3 plus R6. And that equals to R7. Now what we do is we take R2 and R7. R, they are in parallel, so we need to put them together. And so we multiply them, R2 times R7, divided by R2 plus R7. That equals to R8. Without going any further, I'm just going to find what the actual values of uh, R6 and R7 are, and R8 are, and they are respectively uh, 1 ohm, 3 ohms, and 6 over 5 ohms. So once we get R8, we take the sum of R1 and R8 together to find our total resistance and that is 2 ohms plus 6 over 5 and that equals to 16 over 5 ohms so there is our total resistance 16 over 5 ohms and now we are able to find what the current is using Ohm's law. So the current is equal to 10 volts divided by the total resistance, which is 16 over 5. And that equals to 50 over 16 amps. So there you have it. This is a quick video on how to put two or more resistors together by the con from the concept of series and parallel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Here are some other videos that I would like to recommend you watching. You guys can enjoy the videos nodal analysis or mesh current analysis. And if you haven't watched all four other preliminary videos, wide delta transformation, series and parallel resistors, voltage and current division, or Kirchhoff's laws, I recommend you guys watching those first before touching upon those two.